All right, so where we left off, uh, so where we left off last time was we have part of a little functioning game going on over here. Okay, but uh, it's like not that cool looking. So what we're gonna do is let us, hmm, let's upload some images. Okay, so I will come down here and I'm just gonna just put this, add this little piece. Actually, what I need to really do is need to come up here and import this so from os import path all right and there are going to be two different things that we're going to uh, create here first we're going to create a game folder all right and this is going to be path dot dir name so this is the directory directory is the folder so we'll, uh, and we're going to be looking for a specific path okay once we've identified that path we're going to be linking it with, for example, I named my folder uh, Space Shooter Game. And inside of the initial folder, there are three different types of folders, right? There's one for like tutorials, then there's like the actual main program, miscellaneous, random stuff. And then there's the images, which I have here. Okay, all you need to have is this image folder, which I will also attach the images as well for you to download them. Um, and these are all the images that I plan on using in the game. Okay, if I need more, then I'll go get more. And again, uh, these graphics totally go to Kenny from Open Game Art. He has amazing graphics. All right, so here we have the folder. The next thing we're gonna have is image folder. And we're gonna be joining, okay, joining the path to the image folder. So the, we're joining the game folder, which we just had above to the folder labeled img image that's this right here okay i'm joining that pathway all right so now i create a new thing here images um actually whatever i really want to create it not there i'm actually going to make it down here why i don't even know okay so images here and what I'll do is I'm gonna start with the background. So we'll start with the background first. Background is equal to now uh, the way that we're gonna do this is we can go here to pygame.image. I'm sure it's there somewhere, but I already know what the code is. So pygame.image.load okay allows me to load a new image from the file, and all we need is just the name. So file name is is just the name of the file that we're gonna be uploading. So we have pygame.image. Uh, load okay and the image that we're going to be loading okay well, let's see here where we are right now the image folder at the top that was this piece right here right remember at the top here we did a uh, image folder we made a pathway to that folder now we need to create the pathway between this image folder and the name of the image which is called background so we're going to use another path.join so here we're going to do path.join, okay, we're joining and linking the image folder with the name of the image, which I believe was background.png, all right, and then at the end we're just going to convert, okay, we're going to add this so that it loads better, pixelizes, and looks really nice on the screen, all right. Um, then after that, we need to get the rectangle added. So background rect is equal to background dot get rect so we have the image then we have the rectangle around the image and we're going to go down to the bottom okay down to where see what this screen dot fill was you don't need that anymore because we're not going to fill it with a black screen we're going to do screen that's the surface that we're blitting it to so screen dot blit okay if i had named this variable my window display then this would be my window display dot but because I named it screen, it's screen dot And this is going to be uh, the source, which is what we're blitting, and the destination. Don't worry about these two, we're not gonna worry about that yet. So the source is the background, that's what we're gonna blit, and where background right. Okay, now if I go ahead and I run this, we have this have a nice background see and that's the background that I chose I mean you can go and find any background it is that you want just and then just resize the photo um, 
for the size of the display. So like mine was 480 by 600. So I tried to find a photo and resize it nicely to fit 480 by 600. Um, probably even a little bigger than that. Okay, so that's how we do the background. Now, if we wanted to do uh, the image of the ship, okay, I chose this as my ship image, this right here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and upload that as well. So if I do player image, and here's the thing, right? Because I, I, I was gonna take my time and go through each one of them, but here's what we'll essentially have to do, okay? We'd have to take this whole thing and do one for the player. Then we'd have to do one for the laser, right? Then we'd have to do one for the meteors, and there's not just one meteor, there's a whole bunch of meteors, right? So just imagine meteor one, meteor two, like this would be so much. This is when a function would come into play. So I'm going to eliminate this, and we're gonna create a function up here. And we'll say get image, okay? So this will upload, and image upload and return an image all right so here's how we're gonna do this um the we're gonna pass basically i'm trying to think in my head how i would like to do this i would like to do like this how about say player image is equal to get image okay so i'm setting a variable equal to the function here okay so i'm going to make a function call and inside there i'm just going to pass the name of the file so the name of the file is this playership.png okay so i'm going to pass this right and this gets passed to my function okay i can name any variable there i'm just gonna call a file name okay so this gets passed the file name and then I will use file name somewhere in this area to upload the image. And the way that we do that is we'll say create a variable. And that was pygame.image.load. Okay. Remember that we need to join the path between the image folder and the actual image. Now, um, normally you would put, we, we would put this here, right? To, to upload it the way that we did for the background. Right, but we don't actually need to do this um, because remember when I called this function, I'm passing the name of the file here. So then this is what I just need to write. It will automatically grab that and dot convert at the end, right? And then just return the image. Now when it returns the image, okay. So if I if I go through this piece, right? I have a variable. I call make this function call passing this. Okay, here it is right here. I use playership.png here. Okay, so it, it uploads the image, joins the path, it basically uploads everything, and then it returns the image. Now, when I return it, this is now going to be the variable that takes this return. Okay, so now this will have the image in it. All right, so to make sure that that works, here's what we're gonna do, okay? Because we're not using this yet, but we know that the background works. If I were to go ahead and run this, okay? Um, we know that the background, the way that we did it, the long way works, right? So what we'll do now is we're going to then take this whole thing out and let's try to use the function, see if it works. So it was background.png. Now, if I run this, the way this, this works again, right, and I like to take my time is we're going to take this, pass it to the function here, okay, and then it gets, we go through the whole works, upload it, we return it, it gets returned here, okay, so now the background image is located here, we grab a rectangle around that image, and then at the bottom, we blit it. All right, let's see what's up. So, do this, and perfect, see? So that means everything works. Um, now that means that we can go ahead and do one for this. And we can also do one for the laser. So get image. Okay, and I believe that I stored this as laser. Easy enough. So get image of laser, that one, okay? So now we have the image for the ship. 
and we have the image for the laser okay and the way that we have this function it's going to change right as as we upload and do things we're going to discover that other things need to be added to make it work okay um so i'm going to go now to the class that has right here my player class and instead of having this green surface i'm going to erase both both of these and self.image is just going to be player image okay i still need to get a rectangle of the image so I'm going to keep everything else and just changing this piece right here. So now if I go ahead and I run this, oops, not one command. If I go ahead and I run this, see, but look how massive my ship is right now. What is that? That's gigantic. Okay. So we're going to have to uh, change that. So here's what we're going to do. Okay. In Pygame, there is something called transform. Okay. And if you look, not dot flip, but dot scale. So if I click on that, it says that this is what you use to resize to a new resolution. And so we're going to call pygame.transform.scale and then the what it is that you're trying to transform. And then notice it's in its own parentheses, the width and the height. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say this pygame.transform.scale. Okay. And if you open the brackets if you're using idle it usually opens this up here the surface is going to be the player image that's what we want to transform and then um let's see let's do 50 by 30 30 i think eh, maybe 30 we'll try it out right and again um be careful with the parentheses right i always make sure that everything gets highlighted appropriately because sometimes that will throw it off all right, so go ahead and run this, and now we have a ship. Now it's kind of small, but I mean, I'm cool with that. Okay, so we have a ship right now, it looks like this. Yeah, oh yeah, I can just hold down the space, and it's coming together. Okay, now we can do the laser. So I'm gonna go down to the bullet class, and I'm erasing the fill, and I'm erasing this piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and do pi game dot transform dot scale what is it that we wanted to scale it was called laser underscore image and i'm going to make this 10 oops, 10 20 okay these the the dimensions have to go in their own parentheses that's a tuple it's immutable we can't change this okay it has to go like this and then close the parentheses right notice when you close the parentheses it highlights where the other parentheses is closed everything's good so now when you run this we should have a laser shooting out okay and you can change the size i'm cool with this size so i'm gonna leave it right everything will run smoothly and in the next video what we'll do is we'll do the meteors because there's a there's a lot of meteors um and so we're gonna probably upload that a little bit differently okay all right